Hello, I'm Irina Baker, the Total Mindset Makeover Mentor, and I'm here with my long-term client, Larry Carter, who is graciously agreed to share the results of working with me, and this is the second interview already because we had an interview before after several sessions, and now uh, Larry has been my long-term client, and he will share the results of working with me. So here you are. Hi, Larry. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Larry Carter. Um, uh, I've been Irina's long-term client, which has been fabulous. Um, she, she had another uh, client that when I first seen Irina that basically told how wonderful it was working with I Irina. And while I think he did a good job, I mean, I doubt enough words can describe even from both of us, uh, you know, how, how great the experience is in general. Like I feel a transformation in my life on like an energy level. Everything that I do, everything, I mean, it just feels great. I, I can't express that more. Um, my intuition is stronger. Like I, I just have an intuitive feel. I, I feel great. Like things are coming together. Uh, uh, you know, like, and, and business-wise, they just started coming together um, for the, you know, we just started opening up a new company, No Cube, which is a fitness and health company, and already before we got the business paperwork back, we already turned a profit. So, I mean, that, that, that was just awesome already, and, you know, before this, you know, it, it was just a struggle to get started um, in, in some aspects. Uh, we ended up having to let go of a partner, uh, and, and one of the reasons why we ended up having to is it was kind of, you know, false advertisement on the, the, the partner. They said they could do certain things that they really could not do. Um, and then when, you know, it came, we were sitting, we were trying to craft the business model and craft you know, everything around what we were doing, and it just seemed like the, the struggle where we weren't able to do it for so long. And I mean, this, this took place like several months ago, and we just couldn't get anything launched, no matter how many meetings we had, no matter how, and it was just like this struggle. And during this time, I'm working with Irina, I'm feeling a lot better each time, I'm removing blocks, and I'm just really just like moving ahead. And, and so, like, before long, we had our, our previous session, and we were, I mean, it was an amazing session. We moved a whole lot of blocks, and then I just felt like this shift. And, and some people say, you know, when you shift on the inside, it, it takes a while for the outside world to catch up to where you're at. And so that that is exactly what happened. Like, um, by the time I got to the last, uh, our last session, the first session finally started manifesting outside. And so, like, you know, I, I felt it inside, but it didn't necessarily manifest outside until then. And so it's been, like, slowly, like, accumulatively just coming out more and more and more as outward feeling. So I'm not even at the height of what all of the work that we've done. I feel it on the inside, but it hasn't shown just yet uh, on, the, on the outside. And so, like, it, it's been a great experience. I mean, I, I have to say, Irina doesn't charge me. I, I, I don't say that to block anybody, but, I mean, you really have to do it. I mean, it, it really changes who you are. You may not think it. You may not understand where you're coming from, but if you met Irina, you met Irina for the right reasons. You know, she's in your life for a reason. Take advantage of it. I mean, you will... You, you will feel amazing afterwards, those blocks that you remove that you don't even really realize were there. They could be accumulation from past lives and so forth. And, you know, just removing them helps you move forward as a person. It helps you get rid of other blocks. Um, I, I talked about it previously about meditations. My meditations weren't as deep, and I have been meditating quite a bit for several years, but they weren't as deep until afterwards. And now my meditation is going a whole lot deeper. So, I mean, that, that that's great in itself because when you're able to reach those deeper states of meditation, you're able to move more quickly. You're able to 
move around blocks, not only just blocks, but you're able to explore the vastness of who you are in a way that you could not have done if you weren't so deep. Um, you're able to become a bit more one. And, and you know, some, some that study that philosophy will know what I'm talking about there. Um, I feel I've attracted more positive things in my life. Um, one of the issues that I had uh, was, you know, like relating to how eating right and so forth. And um, in, in doing that, you know, like I could never buy a refrigerator. And I needed a refrigerator because my current refrigerator was just too small to really store anything in. And, and so we'd have the normal groceries and I couldn't really get on the eating regimen just because of that. Like there was just nowhere to store the food. And so uh, after like a first couple of, uh, after our life after life session, I was able to then go out and get it. And it was like before, the money would always disappear. It was like when I would go to do it, something would come up that would cost the price of the refrigerator. And we're not talking anything expensive, but it, I mean, it, it just, I could not do it for whatever reason. It was like a block. Something would always come in my life that would take it away, and my chance to do that. And I was able to do that immediately afterwards. And it's, to me, it's very significant to someone may be like, oh, it's just a refrigerator. But it was such a block. Uh, on an internal level that it was just manifesting and what I attracted in all different manifests in my life that that's where it was at. And so now I was able to do that and then I, I was able to, you know, even start talking to a, a coach for a program and so forth, whereas before I never even could make it to talking to the coach. Every time I tried, something came up. And so now, you know, I was able to do those types of things. And that's just one of, like, many different things that have been happening to me. Uh, you know, like the, when I was saying earlier about the business partner, I mean, uh, Irina doesn't know right there. She saved me a headache, a lifetime. We were able to let go of that partner who wasn't really going to do anything for the company but take us down. And we were able to let that partner go, and, and it just came to me intuitively. Like the partner said something, and like intuitively, I just, you know, hear, you know, like, you know, uh, like tapping on the shoulder, like something's not right, something's not right, something's not right. And then I was like, okay, uh, I'll, I'll see, you know, I'll see. And we had sent off for our, our corporation papers, and our corporation papers happened to just come back. And at the, you know, we had sent off, we're waiting. And this particular partner's like, well, you know, I got my percentage. Well, when he realized that, you know, the papers were going through, he decided I no longer have to do work and I'm just going to collect on my percentage. So, you know, you guys have to deal with me. And it was like uh, all of the paperwork we would have had to do to get rid of the partner that wasn't going to work out would have been crazy. But the universe has its way of working out. We forgot to sign a spot on there, and the company sent us back the paperwork for a, for a loan and said, guess what? You, you guys did it. And it happened to be right at the time that guy was, the, you know, the partner was telling us all this, how he basically was not going to work anymore. He wasn't going to do anything, and we had to deal with it. And, and it was just like, that was perfect. You know, it just came all together, and, it, and you know, it was like all the angels and everything. My angels were right there. My guys were right there, and I just felt it. And when he was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk to a lawyer about it, I was like, you know, a funny thing about that, you're 33%. You have nothing until I sign the papers. They came back and said they rejected it and said we didn't sign right. And I was like, you know, that's like a one in a billion chance that that would happen. We missed one little checkbox, and they sent it back. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I can't, I can't think that would. And he happened to come out to what his plans were at the wrong time because he thought the paperwork went through, and I it had just come back that day. So that, to me, that was amazing. I mean, it, it saved us. And the other partner was talking with me too, and he was like, "We would have never." I mean, he was like, "Our angels were looking out for us on that." And then immediately, you know, that weekend following all of that, we turned a profit. So, <laughs> I mean, that, that was amazing. 
So would you say that if you didn't do the work and didn't go through the blocks and remove stuff, you would <clears throat> somehow ended up with the partner that was not really very good for your business? I, I totally agree with that because be, before um, I met up with Irina, I had got the, the particular partner. And so that, that tells me that I attracted that partner when my blocks and my inner my vibration was much lower than where it was at, you know um, before I met Irina and started going through everything and so I, I met that I, I met Irina right when I was at that low and I, and I won't say that because I had been you know making a lot of pro progress like I, I strongly believe that if you met Irina you're at that level to meet Irina I mean nothing happens for a reason so I can't say I was lowly lowly but I was much lower than where I am by far right now and, and so at that level I attracted that particular business partner when you know that that partner didn't have the best interest of you know the business or myself and mine or the other partner and, and so you know I would have never realized that until it was too late and so I mean that that could have been you know thousands of dollars later that I had to deal with this partner that just really wasn't for the business and didn't add any business value but was getting a large percentage of the business and you know even so I, I the funny thing about it is I talked to another friend who had knew that same business partner and they said my whole company was ruined by it um, the, the person actually brought in fraudulent business that ended up in the collapse uh, the financial structure that they just couldn't recover from, you know, as a result of that partner. And I was like, wow, I never even knew that. And I got saved from that whole aspect to where the only thing I lost um, as a result of the person was time. So I, I, I can't thank Irina enough for that. Um, there's just been other things too. Um, <clears throat> I have another company that I've been running for years, uh, WireDev, and we've been doing good with that, you know, like uh, clients coming in here for that, and so that's that's been great in itself. Um, I've been able to handle more efficiently the clients that we do get that come in um, for programming, so I have several clients that I'm working with for at the moment, and I've been able to just, you know, get the work that they need. Um, even if there's a hiccup, like before, sometimes the hiccups would be like, oh, we, you know, if, if we have a hiccup, we lost a client or something like that because they, they have these tight time schedules to get stuff done. And now it's just like I'm able to efficiently just like get through them and no block is, you know, it's like no blocks in the way. I just remove them and I keep going. And I'm efficient. And for the first time, I've I've been able to bring on another developer where before I just could never bring on one. I, I just could not. And I was able to bring on another developer to help me out. So that I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, we're talking years. I just could not bring on another developer. Now I brought on another developer and working great with them and able to take on more workload. So I mean, it's been. It's been amazing, and it just keeps getting better. Like I said, it's it's slowly, you know, from the first sessions, it's slowly coming out. So I I don't know if you can see me going, but I'm ecstatic. <laughs> That's great. And Larry, you were saying being low or higher, you meant frequency, right? The vibrational frequency, because people might not understand what we mean by when we say, yeah, I've been lower and now I'm higher. Yeah, I'm talking about my vibration, um, and I, I feel that my whole vibration as a person has come up. Um, even like, I, I'm a strong believer that a wise person learns from everyone around them. So, the people that you're attracting in your life um, kind of shows what what level you're kind of at. And Irina obviously is a of a very very high level. I mean, she's, she's very high level. So the fact that I was able to, you know, to get Irina to come in my life and help me move up in a level, you know, that that's that's been immense in itself. Um, I've attracted, you know, other mentors at the same time 
that have helped me, you know, my business coaches that have helped me do uh, different things in business. I've been able to make more moves as far as my education, as far as the business, that if I hadn't met these people as a result of all of the work that Irina, I, that I would have never met them, maybe, maybe in the future, but not this early. I would not, definitely I'm not met them. And they came into my life, and it was just like, wow, I'm able to move up, get the training that I need that has helped me. Wow, that's great. Uh, Larry, do you want to comment anything at all? Might might not be able to even comment on that, but uh, that time when... Uh, there was a uh, heavy, heavy stuff that needed to be pushed or moved somehow, and uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Do you want to say anything? How you were able to get through and move on? Yeah, so we we have we we have been doing several different sessions, and I don't remember which number in the sessions we were at, but um, it, it was towards our, our last sessions, um, and. You know, like everything had been going good. We always met on time and, and everything. But when we got to this particular session, everything just seemed to fall apart. And it was like I overslept every single time, like, and I missed Irina's calls. And it was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, and so we would reschedule. And then I would miss. And this went on for about uh, a week and a half or so. It went on where I, I don't know. And she was like, I, Irina was like, I feel, you know, it's very heavy energy. And I was like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not, I normally don't, but I don't know what is going on here. I was like, I, I, I really don't know. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to pull you through this. And I said, okay. She was like, let's have a night session tonight. And I think it lasts two or three hours or whatever that we, we went through that, I think it was. But, I mean, we, we removed, I mean, it, it was surprising because at that point, we removed such a massive block. I mean, it, 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 I, and it showed why we were being prevented. Like, I mean, we removed such a massive block from my, my life that, I mean, that one hasn't even caught up yet. And then even after that one, we removed one that was even bigger than that. And it was just like, these were just huge roadblock obstacles that I don't know that in this lifetime by myself that I could have passed those. And if it wasn't for Irina's dedication and being willing to say, you know what, I know what's going on, because she intuitively knew before I even knew. And I, I, I just felt embarrassed about the whole thing that I keep missing the appointments and I don't know why. And then, you know, and she was like, you know, I feel the energy. This is what we're going to do. And she just went for a plan of attack, and I just put myself in Irina's hands, and it just, boom, it just removed it. Just removed it. And I, I definitely, I mean, that helped so, so much. Thank you, Larry. And the reason I, I asked you about it was uh, people sometimes, or a lot of times, don't understand that when you feel heavy or overslept or just found some excuse that normally you wouldn't do, but here it just something stops you. That's usually heavy stuff inside that just needs to be moved, and it's hard sometimes to do it on your own to just try to pull through it because obviously the stuff wants to stay where it was before for a long time and doesn't want to uh, be released. So I guess my point is you do need to have somebody who will be strong enough to help you with that and just go through it and do the work, right? Yeah, like, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people, like intuitively when I found Irina, you know, I, I kind of threw it out there for my intuition to find the right person. And I, I kind of covered this in the first video, but, you know, I, I had a feeling that I was going to need Irina's help, you know, to pull through that. And, you know, my intuition did not serve me well in that time because I, I don't know that another person could have helped me pull through that. And when I was looking for Irina, I was looking for a person that ultimately understood that type of stuff 
where you know, and I was like, you know, dark, you know, heavy energy. Like that. A lot of people may not even understand that, and and I was like, you know, I feel that I need someone who's experienced to get me through that. And I was like, I don't know who to find to get me through that. And then I, you know, Irina had to be an expert in all of that without even being hey, She just intuitively knew, like, here's where we're at. This is what we need to do. And then, you know, even when those blocks didn't want to release itself, Irina was like, no, 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 no. Come back. That's not correct. Let's, let's, let's resolve it. And she was great at resolving and getting to the root of it and then just helping it move. And it's just like I saw myself move up levels. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I literally saw myself graduate in, in, in certain aspects. So I, I mean, my hat goes off. I mean, I read my literally, I, it's invaluable what you've done for me. And I know it because I still feel it. And I, I know it's not even the end of it. And I just keep moving forward. Like, I've had so many wonderful things come into my life. Um, we're about to give birth to a daughter, not me, but my wife. So, as, you know, that, that's been wonderful, too. Um, and it, it's just been a, a blessed experience. I missed the last part. You said we're about to do what? Because it's a little bit, uh, the sound is not as great. So sometimes you speak really well, not you, but um, sound. So uh -huh. I didn't hear what the last part was. You about to do what? We're about to have a daughter. Our final. Aww. Yeah. Uh, and Congratulations. So. Oh, my God. We're about to, on the 11th, um, we'll give birth to uh, hopefully a healthy baby girl. And you know that's such a gift to your daughter because when daddy is so enlightened and so uh, on a different level, that actually means the baby is coming on a higher level too because the baby had to come when you have done the work, finished the work, and now the baby is coming. So you see, not a, coinc not a coinc coincidence here, right? Yeah, and it, it was interesting because we had picked out a name. For the first time, we had picked out a name a lot earlier than we had did with a lot of the kids. And so we were, we were going to go with the name Abigail, and then uh, afterwards, you know, something came up, and we were just like, uh, my, my wife doesn't like having a popular name because she has a popular name. And so it just came that Abigail was popular, and it was like, no, we don't want to use that name anymore. And then a friend of ours comes, and they say, well, I knew some Abigail. It's not a good name to name your, your kid. So, and it was funny because we ended up switching that in the name, and we're going to go with Davina. We haven't decided on the middle name yet, but the middle name is going to be Davina, and our youngest, he goes, Vina, he's two years old, he called her Vina, he was like, we said, Abby or Vina? He goes, no, Vina now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was interesting that the name you know, the whole name change, and, I, and I, I believe that totally it's more of, you know, the vibration that I'm pulling off, you know, it's a whole different level for the soul. You got it right. It's the vibration, the frequency is different, and now the name is different, the whole nine yards, that's an amazing thing. And I, I, feel, I feel that because my vibration has gone up, I feel that I've, I've noticed the, the lives of other people that are around me all of the time. They seem to be doing better, too. So I, I was like, that's, that's wonderful. Like, uh, you know, like uh, um, I, I, I work a full-time job, including my businesses. Um, and at, at that place, it seems like we're getting business that we couldn't attract before um, in a two years, almost three years that I was there, we didn't get a lot of new clients. I mean, we increased the software and made new features to them, we didn't get a lot of new clients. And it seems like we're closing clients back to back. You know, we're getting, we're, I mean, the business is growing significantly with the size and the volume of these new clients. 
and then we have the potential to get a really big client, which is you know outstanding. On top of that, so I mean, it, I mean, the business was already successful, but it's doing even better. And I'm like, my boss is, you know, like I, I don't know. And I was like, we got it, we got it, we'll get that. Kid. So that, that's amazing and exciting to me that I'm projecting myself in a reality in which those things are, are happening, great things are happening around me. And the good thing, you're spiritually aware of what's happening, why it's happening, right? Yes. Which is, which is nice. Like, you know, I, it's a different, like, you feel enlightened in a, in a different way. Like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, I, I feel that way. Um, even my communication, um, this was explained by your, your other student, even my communication with my wife, I think, is a lot better than where it was. Like, uh, we would argue about some conversations, and now we're able to talk about them. Where, you know, you know there, there may be, um, there, there may be, like, moments where you, uh, you know, don't agree, but it's not like it is before. Like, before, it used to be, like, a closed door. It was like, I don't agree, you go to your island, I go to my island, and we'll avoid that. Now, it's like, we can agree, but we can still come together and talk about it. And it's not, you know, this crazy roadblock between the two of us. So, you know, those things are great. Like, we're able to be more on a level, more to be one, and everything. And my wife is actually my soulmate. Um, we, we found that out in the Life Before Life uh, session. And she's actually been my soulmate. We've been, lived many lives together. And it's funny because even though you have a soulmate, it doesn't mean that you don't have certain blocks that have come up over a lifetime and stuff of talking and so forth that you have to work out. Um, but, you know, the, the great thing about it is we've always, you know, just kind of like gel together and went on that level together. And even more now, it's like our vibrations flow together a lot more. And I notice it even more, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And as you perfectly know, Larry, that I teach and advocate and work with closing the gap between physical and spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. So how would that affect the business? Because people got used to that business is physical. They look at it as, what? why are you in business? I, I'm in business to make a lot of money. but. If you bring spiritual or spirit world into business and you go for greatness, I call it, or the meaning, you get satisfaction and the business grows and money comes, what would you say about that? Even though people may deny the spiritual or any aspects like that and they may say, well, the spiritual doesn't exist, that metaphysical, throw it out the window or whatever. They, they may think like that, but the reality is that's very much. I mean, we're, we're uh, souls having a human experience. And as so, when our souls are entangled into different things and we're vibrating at a much lower level, that's not physical in any way. And if you look at most people who, you know, like many people, who have uh, become successful in any life, they, they, they tell you the struggle of the different blocks that they have to remove. And I don't mean you have to do this from a religious aspect because religion has nothing to do with it. It's at a metaphysical, spiritual level, and you have to remove these things within your soul. And sometimes these could be from past lives. They, they could just be anything. They could be from this life. They can be uh, bad thought processes that you've uh, weaved into your mind. And, and you see this, and then when you start elevating yourself, you start seeing it around you. And you start seeing how people have blocked themselves and what blocks they have. So when you go to these types of coaches, um, like Irina, and they help you out, and, and they actually remove that so that you can actualize that, because what's happening outside of you is a direct result of where you're at spiritually. And so... Like, and I, I don't mean this, like I said, from a religious standpoint, but I mean this from a metaphysical standpoint. So what you project out is, a, uh, is 
what's going on inside of you. So if you're projecting out loss, um, despair, a poverty consciousness, you're going to attract exactly that. You're going to put yourself in a reality where you attract those things that ha that to happen to you. And so, like, for instance, um, in my salary of working, I could not make over a certain amount at a particular point in time. No matter what I did, I would get up to the dollar, but I couldn't make over that amount. And I, I talked to my wife, and I was like, I don't get it. I was like, I'm, I know more than that guy that's getting that, but I just can't attract it. And, it, and no matter what physical things I did, presented myself better, wrote my resume, I would only find jobs that yield right up to that amount. And then even even if I found one that yields more, it would end right when I got that amount. And I was like, I have no clue. I don't get it. And I told my wife, I was like, I cannot I, I don't I don't get it. And I remember taking my class and the person said, you know, you have these spiritual blocks. And I thought to myself, no, no, no way. That doesn't exist. You know, who, who has these blocks? And, you know, we went through a mantra and we went through a meditation. And it was like, well, let's remove these blocks. You have this block here. So I did that. And immediately, within two months, I surpassed that, that, that you know, that block. And by a significant amount too, so I, I mean I significantly went past that mark. Uh, I, I was like, I, I and, and I, I told my wife I was like I didn't do anything different. Like I didn't do absolutely anything different other than the fact that I know that block was removed. And when that block was removed from me, I, I passed it. So now you know you know. I, at that time, after that, I'm always looking. You can remove a block from me. Great, let's remove this block. Let's go, let's go. And so that, that's how I, you know, I attracted Irina in my life too, because it was like, I know I got blocks. Let's let's get rid of all of them. And, and the reality is, you're not going to get rid of all of them in one session. You know, it takes work, and it really depends on who the person is, how big their blocks are. I mean, Irina has been at this for years and years and years and years and years, you know, putting in the hard work, and she's at a level that, you know, some of us may not tread down that level, but she can get you to get to your level to where you can be successful and remove those blocks from you, from you. and you have to be willing to put in the work. And so, you know, for some people, the first block will be, how do I get Irina? And they, they may not be able to get over that block. But I say, you know what? Do whatever you can. Find the money because it'll come back to you. It may not come immediately, but it will definitely come back to you. And it will be priceless when it comes back to you. Find a way to hire Irina and get that. And I mean, like, when, when the secret gets out about Irina, you know, you're going to have to be like Oprah to touch Irina. <laughs> So. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Larry. Oh, I, I, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and so I, I, I definitely say it, it's been great, and it has removed so many blocks from me. Like, I've seen such a turnaround in just what I'm doing, and I feel the step forward. Um, I, I've just been a, able to attract the right teachings, uh, the, the right business coaches to help me out with stuff. And that has been priceless in itself. I remember before this, I just couldn't do that either. Talking about uh, business coaches, um, everybody says get a, when you are an entrepreneur, get a coach, get a mentor, business mentor. And everybody does it. And it's great because you cannot do without. You have to have a teacher. What would you say to people who believe that business mentor is a must? How about spiritual mentor? Is it a must or it's like just a luxury? What do you think? I see a lot of people go out and get business mentors. And, you know, when, when you're, I guess, in the circles that I am more so now, you see a lot of people go to the seminars, they show up to the seminars, and, you know, they're looking for a coach. They're looking to get in these mastermind groups because they, they want to be successful, 
So their vibration has led them there, but they have a block that's preventing them. And now I'm not saying that all business mentors are going to be the right ones for you, but they shell out all of this money to go. And then you look at them in a few more seminars, and yeah, they may have inched a few steps forward. They may have brought the program, and they're moving a little bit forward. But a lot of times it ends up sitting on the shelf, and they don't really go to its full potential. And the reason why they don't go to those full potential of whatever it is that they got, I believe most people out there, I mean, yeah, there's going to be some bad programs and some bad mentors and everything, but hopefully your vibration is at a such a level you're not attracting bad mentors. And in that case, um, it, it generally falls into you, whether you're going to do the work or just be stagnant. And really what a spiritual coach does is kind of get you in that realm so that when those opportunities happen, you can act on them and you don't have any question. You, you know, you intuitively know where you're going and what the outcome is going to be and you know that this is the right decision for you. And you can move forward with that opportunity or if it's not, you can say, no, this isn't the right opportunity and, and attract the right one to come in your life. And, and I mean... So many opportunities started happening to me that it was just, I was like, my gosh, like, I'm running into this. Like, I was putting mentors on my board that I wanted to talk to and be a part of whatever it was, and it was just like, boom, it just happened. And it happened so quick. It was almost like, you know, why do elephant, why, why do the universe not let us allow us to manifest elephants or what we think because an elephant would drop on our head? And I know I just butchered that, so let me say it again. It's how uh, time stops us from manifesting what, we, what we're thinking about so that an elephant doesn't drop on our head. And so, you know, it's like I almost had that feeling like an elephant's dropping on my head because of my manifesting because it's happening so quick. Like, I mean, literally it just seems like I'm shifting overnight. Uh, Is know, it because of the spiritual work? Yes. Like, I, like literally I feel like I'm shifting overnight like I wake up and I'm like <laughs> wow you know like I'm like I, I can't believe this is happening and, and, and so it's like I've just been going forward and I'm like this is just amazing like I, I just I, I, I can't believe it's happening so fast mm. I, I mean and like I said you know could I have gotten there without a spiritual coach yes would I have been as effective? Probably not, and I, I would have probably been dragging my feet. Because a lot of those people, you can tell they have blocks. Um, you know, if, you, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, how do I get started? That's a block. I mean, if you, you, if you don't know how to get started and you're, and you're sitting there, it's a block. Yeah, it's a block. Being unclear. Can... Being unclear about your marketing message. That's a block. People think, oh, I'm just unclear. I have to work harder to clear. But it's just you making yourself, you sabotaging yourself. Yeah, like all of these different things that you don't realize is a block. When people say, oh, well, I don't know how to use it. Like any excuse that you can think of is really a block, you know, is really uh, just a block. It's manifested as an excuse. So when you have that excuse, you know that I can't. Or if you have, you know, like some people, they go, well, money doesn't matter to me. Well, money does have to matter to you because if money didn't matter to you, then you would, you know, you would walk on the street. That just tells me the person is broke. So <clears throat> all of these different things are blocks that you really need to remove from your life because at the end of the day, nobody's going to say, that they don't want to spend more time with their family. They don't want to go on the vacations that they want to go on. They don't want to do the things that they love, right? They're not going to say that. People want to do all of those things. So in order to do all of those things, you have to attract or, you know, you have to remove those blocks that are preventing you from doing that. And so in some cases, money's the block. Um, in some cases, action is the block, where it's blocking you from literally taking action on your hopes and dreams. And so they're squandered away because you literally can't take action. And in, in, in a lot of these like uh, training seminars where these, with these business coaches, a lot of time what you see is in action is a lot of the block that you see. A lot of these people, you know, money-wise, 
And some, you, I mean, you have a mix. Some don't do well money-wise, but some do extremely well, and they can afford the club courses, but they never do them because they're blocked. And, and, that, and those are things that really need someone to help you, and that's just kind of an example of how do you get past that. So you, you know, I think um, if you've ever heard of <clears throat> T. Harvey Ecker, he talks about um, uh, your money blueprint. He talks about how if you don't, he, he puts it into four quadrants of what you need to work on for yourself. Uh, the spiritual, emotional, physical, and the, and, and, uh, the mental. And he says you basically have to have all four of those in harmony to be successful. And I, and I agree with him. If you don't have the spiritual in, in line, then it's going to come back and, and get you. If you're too spiritual and don't have the physical, the physical takes you out. You know, and the same with the emotional and the same with the mental. And that's why you can see somebody who's really successful and they just get taken out. They lose everything because they didn't have all four of those quadrants in line to really help them to do that. And so you need a, you need a good coach that can help you break through those barriers and get those things aligned for you. And because, I mean, you can do it yourself the hard way or you can save yourself a lot of time without reinventing the wheel, without bumping your head on your own. Save yourself the time. Life is too short to be wasting your time reinventing the wheel over and over again. Learn from somebody who knows what way not to make a light bulb so it'll save you time wasted and trying to figure out that this way does not work. Learn from others around you and you'll be a wise person. And so when you can ask for help from someone like Irina, jump on it. There's no question about it. Don't hesitate because if you hesitate, there's a block. That needs to be removed. It needs to be removed. And once that block's removed, like I said, it takes a while to manifest out to the world because first we change within, and then slowly it comes without. As we start to live that reality in, it starts to come out. But it'll come back to you. And, and so, you know, at first, I was a little worried. I'm not going to say I wasn't worried. I was like, ah. But you know what? I had gotten to a point where I was like, I just trust my intuition. So, you know, even though I was a little nervous and everything, it wasn't, you know, where it would have been in the past, where it would have been like, oh, I'm extremely nervous. I was like, you know what? We're going to make this work. And best investment ever. And I, and I, I say look at it as an investment. Um, it's, it's not, you know, a fee. It's an investment in yourself, an investment in your future, and for everybody who associates with you. So... That, that, that's definitely what I would say do. Go for it with a smile and just go for it. I could not say better. Thank you, Larry. Thank you so much. Oh, and it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. And my, and my words don't do enough. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, I literally can't tell you guys. I, I just, I mean, it, it's been so amazing. And I'm so happy about it. I mean, it's, it's definitely been amazing. One more question we are about to finish. We've been a long time, and thank you so much for your time and really wonderful words. One more question very quickly. Remember in the past, in the last interview, you told me that the pain in your shoulder has disappeared from after we worked. Um, that's long time, some time ago, several months ago. So can you say that the pain is gone and never came back? What about it? What's the update? It never, it never came back. And like, if I was stressed in any way, the pain would come. And it, and I have been stressed. Uh, you know, it's not to say that working with Irene, you'll never have another down day, right? But the th the difference in that is my down days then and to now, like my down days now are like two times above where my high used to be. So I mean. Hey, who would love? Who wouldn't love to have a down day like that? When I look at my down days, they're not really. I'm like, it was better than where I was before. So, I, I mean, I can't complain about it at all. So, I mean, I don't have that those pains anymore. I mean, they're they're just gone. 
and, and, it, and it's very interesting that they're just gone. Like, I'm still shocked. Like, sometimes I check for them, expecting them to be there, but they're just gone. And so, I, I mean, I, I guess that's more of uh, me catching up to the reality that they're gone. <laughs> so, but, I mean, it's amazing. That's so cool. That's so cool that because that's physical pain. You didn't need surgery, you didn't need medication, you didn't need anything, it's just gone. And that's just a proof to me that emotional and spiritual work really works. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. I've been blessed, as I always say. This is my <laughs> mantra. I'm blessed with my clients. You are my amazing, amazing client who I'm, whom I'm blessed with. So thank you so much from my heart. And here you are, Larry Carter, and with all these wonderful words. Thank you. You have a great evening. It's late, so we're about to stop. Any last word you want to say, or we're done? How about We're done. Have a good one, you guys. All right. Bye. Bye.